question is the nike sb dunk low pro celestial gold city of cinema wardrobe friendly now to answer that question i will be showing you different kind of footage me wearing my usual pants here in my channel and you will be the judge and the reason why i ask this it's because in my honest opinion yellow or gold colored sneakers are a little bit picky in my honest opinion but like i said you will be the judge i will be showing you different kind of footage if you would ask me personally this pair is not picky because the color yellow or gold in here is a little bit muted and of course later on i will be showing you also a lot of lace swaps and i was really enjoying lace swapping this pair just an example here this is a white row places but going back into the question here are my top pants with the nike sb dunglow celestial gold in any order first one black corduroy pants whenever i'm wearing yellow sneakers black is always my go-to colorway because it's neutral and i am pretty sure majority of men have black pants in their wardrobe i mean it's the safest and you can't go wrong pairing it with any colorful sneakers but i would recommend to wear something a little baggy and not super tight next pants these are my vintage regular fit jeans these are dirty blue, the kind of aesthetic when you're wearing jeans for ages. Overall, the shoe itself is beautiful and the colorway is not hard to pair with your existing wardrobe. And that is my experience with this celestial gold colorway. If you're not a fan of cargo pants, you will not have issues wearing this pair with jeans. But like I mentioned, avoid super tight or skinny on these sneakers. Another way to rock the celestial gold is by wearing baggy brown. These pants are the same with the black corduroy in terms of fit and sizing. The inspiration behind this combo are the brown accents of sneakers. Also, this is more catered to skaters, especially if you're wearing thick paddings. One of my favorite looks, by the way, that I got from these brown baggy pants. If you fancy some olives, can't go wrong with this too. One thing in common on the pants that I'm using here is that they are all a bit baggy. So I'd recommend the same if you want to rock the Nike SB Tongue Glow Celestial Gold City of Cinema. These pants are from Pull and Bear in case you guys are interested. As a bonus for the folks who love slim tapered cut jeans or pants, this is for you guys and I know that not all of you here likes baggy pants so don't ever think that you are being left out here's me wearing my old vintage destroyed slim fit jeans the idea is to give you guys more references in case you don't like wearing baggy as i have mentioned please note these are pretty common in a men's wardrobe and nothing special with the pants to be honest as always my reviews are not complete if i'm not doing any lace swaps and if i need to be honest to you guys i enjoyed so much lace swapping this pair from simple to crazy ones so it's really up to you which one suits you best but these are my favorite laces on the celestial gold in any order black sb laces this came from my black gums sb by the way they are premium looking and i love how it complement the black nike swoosh Personally, I like them better than the default ones and I wish the extra laces were black to be honest. Also, you can't go wrong with black and yellow combo like the Wu-Tangs or the Yellow Thunder Jordan 4. Next, navy blue. These are from my navy gums SB. The inspiration from the swap are the inner linings and the outsole logo accents. I would classify this as a bold color and not for the folks who doesn't like loud colors so much but i love the pop and it make the shoe as the focal point of your outfit another blue laces these are baby blue in color and i bought them laces online 
really subtle touch but still stylish and the complete opposite of the dark navy earlier. Perfect for low key outfit but since the uppers are yellow, these laces complement nicely the gold overlays. Moving into the crazy ones, actually I'm quite surprised on how versatile the celestial gold in terms of lace swap. These Oreo laces may not be your favorite but I simply love them because it's fun and unique. I don't mind putting flat laces on my SPs since I'm wearing them casually. By the way, if you want to skate this pair, then I would not recommend using those thin flat laces. Would rather stick to the usual thick oval round laces or the SB laces for durability purposes. Last but not the least, white rope laces. The inspiration behind the swap is simply gold and white color don't clash if you want to mix them together. Normally the portray elegance but I'm digging the ruggedness of the rope laces on this pair. Alright, just in case you don't like the lace swaps that I did with this pair, I would like to say you can't go wrong with the default laces. They are nice and still if you don't like the default, you can also use the extra pair of laces. Alright, that was the wardrobe and lace swap test and another reason why this shoe is very special is because of the story or the inspiration behind the design and the materials that they are using here. The color scheme and design elements are carefully chosen to reflect the grandeur of Parisian theaters such as the gold and yellow cracked leather. It represents the gilded architecture and aged elegance of theater's interiors. Next, the burgundy velvet. This mirrors the luxurious velvet seats and curtains. Another thing, the black leather swoosh. It just adds a bit of a modern contrast to the vintage-inspired design. And lastly, the insoles feature Art Deco typeface and imagery of classic theater interiors, including comedy and tragedy masks and tasseled curtains. This sneaker is a beautiful blend of art and streetwear, celebrating the cinematic heritage of Paris in a unique and stylish way. So if you are a fan of theater or cinema, I think this is a must have. One thing I noticed also is the different font utilized on the Nike logo instead of the usual. I don't know the reason behind it, but if you have an idea, please let me know. Okay, the question that I'm getting all the time in my channel is about sizing, especially with SB dongs. I am wearing true to size in any SB dongs, but you have to take note that we have different anatomy of our feet. I just want to let you know that I have a narrow and my feet are not so thick. But if you have a massive and super wide feet, I would suggest to go half size up. But then if you just want to make sure and this is your first time wearing SB sneakers, then just buy two pairs since these are sitting anyway. Just return or send back the one that doesn't fit and you're good to go. Okay, I'll see you next time. Peace.